Hello everyone, this is Nick, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now, sadly, from the three people I rescued last episode, I didn't get a scientist. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bite the bullet and hire one for 93800 And not only did I see the best name ever, Kerman Kerman, but I also noticed his stupidity is at absolute max level. And I can't pass this up. This is the best scientist ever. But first off, uh, I want to send a ship on over to Duna, or, well, hmm. Because the last time I noticed, we're quite a ways away from getting Duna to, oh, wow, yeah, that's a, uh, it's quite a while, but I did want to go ahead and show off this beautiful little start to what uh, will eventually be our Duna Explorer. So this is going to be the beginnings of the ship we're going to send over to Duna, and I'll show you the little surprise that lies inside of it. So once we get there and land this service bay, we're going to open it up and get a little buggy out from inside. Haha, <laughs> yes. Decouple that. Control from here, and oh, look at her go. Yeah. Now it's kind of... There we go. Yeah. Uh, I am going to have to be careful, though, because these wheels aren't the strongest, so they don't take to, uh, to stress very well. So anytime you're kind of getting off an incline, you have to be really careful with them, or they can break. I like how they're elevated. They're kind of hovering in the air right now. But then uh, once we get onto Duna and start roving around and exploring, we're going to be able to get all these nifty little gadgets out and do a little bit of science and explore all the... Uh, not the wastelands, but the... Oh, you know what? I can actually... I can do this now, can't I? Yeah, six signs! Ha <laughs> ha! I forgot I had new equipment. And, of course, a little light, too, for the night times on Duna's surface. But, uh, but yeah, that's eventually what we're gonna get going on Duna. Sadly, though, Duna's quite a way off. We don't have the appropriate trajectory to start doing that, though. To be honest, I mean, might as well just send, um... What, what were their names? My my new scientist and my new pilot over to Minmus to plant the flag just to get them that uh, rank 2 in XP. So, no reason not to do that. I'll just go ahead and get that done really quick. So, we've got... Uh... Oh, we could also potentially get Rodorf his second star. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Might as well. Always good to get another person that can do, um, what is it? It's radial and normal. Yeah. Yeah, he can only do prograde, retrograde. So let's go ahead and get in, in, in Kerman. I uh, don't really need engineers right this second. They'll be good much later on. So let's go ahead and get these three people up to uh, level two in this rocket here. And we'll just call that uh, V2.0. Boom, 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 and boom. Such a pretty view. Gorgeousness. Absolute gorgeousness. Oh! Good thing that exploded on itself and not on me. Let's hit that prograde marker. Beautiful. Much better. Thank you for not exploding behind me. Should be good to get to about 75-ish. And cut right about there. It's looking to be a pretty good orbit. 15 seconds, that should be good. Let's go ahead and keep stability assist just above that horizon, though. Like always. Gonna have to pop those tanks soon. Thank you very much. Should be a gorgeous little orbit here. Pretty little orbit. There's no accidents. Happy little orbits. Mmm, just look at those beautiful little orbits. Yeah, 7480. Excellent. Alrighty, still got a lot of... a lot of juice left in the tanks. 7.2 is gonna take a while, so let's go ahead and start now. Alrighty, where the hell is Minmus? Where the fuck you at? Where the fuck you at? There you are. Alright, so if... Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, a little bit before. Good. Much closer to our periapsis, then. Excellent. 
So if we look here, yeah, that actually gets us almost a perfect intercept. Great. Alrighty. Go ahead and look on over to our target marker or maneuver marker and warp on over. 57 seconds, so that would be what, 28 and a half seconds before we start our burn. That's not too bad. I don't know why we moved off our maneuver node. Damn wobbling in space. So 28 and a half seconds. Let's get right on up there. 29, right there. Definitely gonna have to pop this rocket off. Yep. Oh well, more space junk. Ooh, close, close, close. Now is that, uh... nope, nope, the other way. So if I retrograde and come about the other side, should be just perfect. There we go. If I come right out here, do what looks like a normal burn. Yep, normal burn. Bring that right into alignment. Beautiful, excellent everything. Yep, every line adds up perfectly there. All right, let's warp on over. Now, I wonder if I can still do, because materials bays always do leave out a little yeah a tiny little bit of science is always left over so 13.7 right there and we can go ahead and farm a little bit more tiny little bit more mystery goo as well pressure no oh i should have put us oh i'm so dumb i should have put a seismic thingy yeah i had more science to put on here could at least put the science thing on oh well that's that's too bad um now ooh, how do i how do i do this Okay, I can't transfer any... Ooh, okay. Um, and you can't EVA. Okay, so you... You EVA. You can, you can let go. And just kind of go right off here. Yeah? Yeah, you good? Okay, just, just stay... Stay right there. Stay right there. Alright, you just stay right there. Now, we switch on over... <laughs> to someone else and transfer I guess just Adony Adony go up there now Adony EVA and uh, let go and get on over here now back to you and you can go ahead and board again and get into that uh, crew pod Let's get you transfer crew. You go into there and now back to you. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. You go clean up those experiments and get in the driver's seat. So collect that and restore. Only scientists. Oh, you're a pilot. Fuck. Damn it. Um, all right. Okay, okay, don't don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Uh Kerman, you are a scientist. So Kerman transfer Kerman up there. Now Kerman EVAs. <sighs> Oops. Let go back up and just right right there. Right there. Okay, stay. Now you get back. <laughs> board. Grab board. Transfer you down there. It, there, there, what? There, there, there we go. All right, all righty. Now, now you <laughs> go get. I wonder if I'm gonna. I hope I don't fly by Minmus anytime soon. No, we're still a good ways off. <laughs> all right. Now you get down there. Get down there and clean up that uh, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So restore and clean that too. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Collect the data and restore. Now, grab that. Grab it. There we go. And board. All right. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, Kerman EVA, grab all that and store them in there. There we go. Board. All right. And a couple of seconds and go ahead and burn. Don't need to be on stage view because we have no more stages. 
All right, both apoapsis and periapsis are below 20,000. So that should be in space near Minmus. Yes, correct. Excellent. All right, so uh, you... No, wait, let's get the remaining material study from there and the remaining goo canister. There shouldn't be anything else. No. So we've landed there already. Sorry, no, that's their flags. We've landed in the Great Flats, we've landed in the Lowlands, we've landed in the Midlands, we've landed in Flats and the Greater Flats. I believe all that's left are the Highlands, which I guess are up here. I'm probably going to have to Google a map of all this really quick. Okay, yeah, so these Flats here that are in the darkness, these are the Lesser Flats. And then there are some Highlands that are along my orbit sort of off to the east of the Greater Flats. So what I'm probably just going to go ahead and do is get into the tracking station and let the... let at least the Lesser Flats get into the sun. And that should, with a nice little retrograde burn right about now, get me into those flats right there. There we go. Let's get that gear down. That nice big long gear. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So much more stable now. I'm going to be landing on that far side. Probably want to make sure I kind of stay around here so I'm not hitting these little, like, sand dune thingies. So, might as well just pop that right about now. I've got plenty of fuel, and I'm only going to be visiting two, maybe three biomes. I might do the poles, but honestly, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? There we go. Beautiful. Much more stable, too. Alright. Now, Materials Bay of the Lesser Flats. Hell yeah, 125 science. And let's just go ahead and collect all this stuff and clean it all up. Take that, too. Take that, too. Same thing that we did last episode. And plant a flag for some XP Lesser Flats Kermit because he doesn't even know how to spell his own name that's how stupid our scientist is seven experiments to store so good and let's head on over now somewhere up here should be some highlands probably this uh, sort of darker green area so if I head right up there and then from there, head on up to the pole, and then from the pole, take off. That'll be all the uh, science that we could possibly even fathom together from Minmus. That'll be Minmus pretty much 100% completed, except for any possible like science lab stuff that we might be able to do in the future. But let's go ahead and try to head on over to this sort of dark patch here, and then up to the pole. I think that'll be a pretty good idea. So I want to be heading pretty much due northeast, which is right there, right there. Punch that, and we should see a nice little arc going straight up. There we go, about there. Yeah, something like these sort of dark spots should be the highlands. So let's go ahead and aim for them a little bit more. There we go. Kind of head on over. Stop, stop it, stop it. I was on prograde, that's why. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that takes us directly into the highlands. I want to get the lights on too for here. So I can properly see where the hell I am. There we go, yeah, lights already shining on the ground there. So definitely want to... Oh, punch it, punch it hard, punch it really hard. There we go, ooh. Yeah, that was, uh, ooh. Good thing I turned the lights on there so I could see what my altitude was. Uh, this is one hell of a slope. It's going to be a tricky little landing, I feel. And please don't start rolling all over the place. No, you good? You good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. All right. Are you the Highlands? No, still the Midlands. Fuck. I guess we're going a little bit more north. If 
Right about there. Let's try to aim for like this area-ish over here. Something like that. Alright, what are we looking at now? It actually almost looks like I'm heading towards a pole, strangely, but... It should be highlands, it looks like a kind of little nudge, so hopefully... Hopefully we're heading for the highlands. Lights are still on, we got plenty of electric charge. Let's go ahead and drop below 50, I'm a little bit scared in the dark. <gasps> oh. Alright. Are you the Highlands? Yes! Highlands! Destroy all that. Now, get out. And let other people get out and plant flags. What's going on? Why can't you EVA? EVA currently unavailable. What? What? Why? What the hell? Why is EVA currently unavailable? Uh... Um... Huh? Hmm... Uh... I'm so confused. Why is EVA currently unavailable? Ah, I, I'm time warped. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, what an absolute moron. Okay, EVA. Alright, add any. Plant a flag of the Highlands. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the poles. Due north. And that should be it right there. Should be. If that's not a pole of Minmus, I don't know what it is. And just a tiny little kiss of a thrust to get right down on there. Gorgeous. Yes! Minmus's poles. Excellent. Get all that. Really don't like how the ship keeps rocking back and forth. Store seven. Excellent. Now, go ahead and get out here, and we're going to let... Who didn't plant a flag? Adony planted one, and Rodorf didn't, right? Yeah, I think it was Rodorf that didn't plant a flag of Minmus's North Pole. No north. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get Kerman on up in there so Rodorf can pilot the ship. Time to head back home with the rest of Minmus's fat, fat science loot. There we go. Now get on up to that apoapsis, and then fly it the hell out of here. Alright, now, which would be the best place to initiate a maneuver from? I guess, sort of, going down this way. Alright, so if I do it, I guess sort of here. There we go. Oh, but that's that's absolutely hideous. All right, so that would actually get me pretty close. The 20 second burn gets me down to 838,000. It's probably my best bet. Yeah, that's that's probably my best bet right around there. 20 second burn. All right, let's do it. Right there. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That That's not bad. I can work with that. Let's go ahead and zoom that in. Try to get the hell out of Minmus's sphere of influence. And where are we going? We're going down. We're going down to 412,000. All right, that's not too bad. We'll get back up to that apoapsis, bring that in a tiny little bit, right up to like 60 or so, and do a massive air break, because we're going to be going incredibly fast. <laughs> Go ahead and get that uh, lights and landing gear off and up. Good thing we have solar panels. If not, I would have run out of electric charge a while ago. A while ago. All right, let's get down in there. Warp there. Bring it in. Three three days. Time warping two days. One whole day. We've been doing this mission for 30 days. Thrust limiter all the way down. Let's get that periapsis moving. Let's start with 60. Oh shit, no, 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 wrong key, wrong key, wrong key. I'm gonna die if I do 32. All right, all right. So, uh, good thing I still have fuel left. <laughs> all right, let's start with 60. 
slow it right down. Eight days. Eight days to get there. Oh man. And there's the atmosphere. Gonna hit 60 in a bit. Already getting that apple absence so quickly. <laughs> We're so fucking far out. We're going at 3,200. That's, uh, that's quite something. Any friction damage? Anything at all? Yeah, we're starting to heat up a tiny little bit. We're getting kind of red. Just a tiny little bit. Where's our periapsis at? Are we even there yet? Yeah, we're just about there, and we're not actually taking massive heat damage yet, so that's good. That's good, because we're bringing that apoapsis right in. I think on the next pass around, we can bring the periapsis down to about 55. Get some burning going. Go ahead and warp all the way around. Do that again. 52 day voyage so far. I was going to bring that down to 55k, wasn't I? Oops. Oh well. More air braking. My bad. And we brought that down to 15 million. So we bled off another 10 million apoapsis there. And let's get right up to that apoapsis. And bring that ever so slightly in. 55. There we go. Just hit the atmosphere again for a third time. At this speed, yeah, right there, right there, right there. No more damage, no more, no, ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, gotta get rid of all that speed. If I just kind of leave that on for the time being. Now, sadly, that was all my fuel, just to slow down about 400 meters per second. But you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Go warp around to the other side again. We did manage to bring our apoapsis in quite significantly, though, so shouldn't be too bad. We were only going at, what, 2,800? That's doable, albeit dangerous. Just get some more air braking in with this massive fuel tank underneath me. Good thing is, it is empty. And as long as it's not taking any damage, I might as well use a larger surface area to keep air braking over and over and over. Because once this periapsis drops to about 45,000-ish, that's pretty much a one-way ticket. There's no return after that. Managed to slow down about another 100 meters per second there on that pass-through. That's not bad at all. And let's just keep doing this over and over because we have no fuel. So <laughs> just stuck doing this over and over. Nice and slow. All the air braking in the world. <laughs> Sadly, I don't really get to choose where I want to land. Pretty much whatever my cards are, gotta play with them. Yeah, Periaps is coming into about 51,000 and a half. I don't know if this is our last one, but if this one is not our last one, next one definitely is. Ooh, that Apoaps is actually coming in incredibly fast. You know what? I This is our last one. Yeah, this is definitely it. Yeah, yeah, we haven't even reached the Periapsis and that's coming in very rapidly. While that's heating up, I'm going to give it a bit. It's holding pretty steady, though. Yeah, they're really not getting too hot. It's pretty surprising. And the engine is actually fine. <laughs> it's the fuel tank and the lander legs and, and the lights and all that kind of stuff that's heating up. And we're coming in at such a graceful angle that we're not, you know, it's it's nothing too rough at all. This is actually a pretty amazing ascent, or descent, sorry. That Science Junior is taking some damage though, but that's fine because even if that explodes, we do have the uh, the decoupler ahead of it. Yeah, things are starting to heat up a little bit more now. Now we're coming in much faster. So you know what? Let's go ahead and pop it. Yeah, I don't want that thing being a time bomb on me. Let's just rely on this ablator now. If we manage to land at a pole and get some more science, that would be amazing. There we go. See? As soon as it changes to certain... Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it was just the slight variation of angle of the prograde that was making it touch some of the friction of the atmosphere. I'm guessing that's it. I, I wonder if I have to manually change it to surface once that happens. Huh. I'm gonna have to try to test that out later on. Probably not in career mode. <laughs> but gonna have to test that out. Ah! Almost made it to a pole. There we go. There we go. Safe and sound. Oh, yeah. Three more Minmus biomes. Three people leveled up to level two. Oh, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. More science. More science. More progression. And we're landing in water. Nice. Very nice. In the freezing... <laughs> in the freezing polar water. Beautiful. Cover that vessel. Get that science. How much am I going to get? Over 2,000? Over 2,000? No, oh, not quite. 1,500. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, it makes sense. We only did three biomes. Uh, and last time we did... What? Five Minmus biomes and... Space above Kerbin, or space above Minmus, space above Kerbin, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah, it makes sense. Only 1500. Not too damn bad, though. Pretty fucking good. What can I go ahead and pick up? We have 1600. I I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up because I'm gonna want to get rid of some space junk without just terminating it from the tracking station because it's a lot more fun that way. Might as well start investing in some of this. We go supersonic flight, and we can pick up both of these if I want to. High altitude flight. I mean, might as well. And heavy aerodynamics. Yeah, really not much left to be able to research until I upgrade this uh, research facility. Uh, I'm clearly eventually going to want all this Kerbidine stuff, but until I can get the actual, you know, the mammoth and the, the large tank and the rhino and all that kind of stuff, I mean... There's no real point to getting this one. These are just the Kerbodyne sized tanks, and I don't have any Kerbodyne engines to use them on, so... Gotta upgrade this uh, research and development facility. Oh well. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to leave this episode off, so thank you very much for watching, and join me back in the next one.